Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve the nested objects and multi-dimensional array with the map function. So uh, this video is uh, actually requested by a user, and this user need a tutorial on how to solve the uh, multi-dimensional array uh, in ReactJS. So let's get started. So here I have a multi-dimensional array with the nested objects. So you can see that we have an array uh, which is a data and now we have a object which is have which have some keys like name id and detail and either details have one array which is uh, have two details which is the email and contact so let's get started so for with that we have to use the two map function which is the nested map functions to solve this uh, JSON. So let's get started. So first of all, just need map function this dot state dot data that actually uh, state name dot map. Oh guys, uh, one more thing. And if you don't know the how to handle a simple JSON with the map function, then please. Uh, watch the tutorial number nine, which is uh, explained well with the every step. So, if you can want to go to the tutorial number nine, then it's fine. Then, if you want to continue with this video and want to solve the nested objects, then that's good. So, now my function have uh, two parameter. One is like row data to get the row, the i for like the key. Uh, that's fine okay so for that we have an arrow function and I need a div here uh, I'm going to show this video with an error so which type of error you will get in this uh, kind of JSON so here I'm going to print the no on only name this dot oops sorry show data dot name which is going to call the this name David and the same so let's see the output oops we got an error here so we got an error in maroon oh. line number 44 so let's see what exactly where is this okay actually we forgot to define the state here so this dot state dot this dot state equal to now fine so now you can see that there is three uh, name and similarly you can see that email sorry uh, the id that's fine okay if you want to give in some spacing then put like that that's fine oops id are same with the every object so i have to change like 12 11 to see more perfect that's fine so now the game starts from here so how we can solve the detail array so whenever i'm going to put a detail here just going to remove this and this and it will tell that a detail is a kind of object so we can solve directly you can see that objects are not valid in the lectures and this already have a key email and contact so for that uh, we have to check first of all so that we can uh, learn the error handling as well so if you can check if actually I don't need to write the if here type of
equal equal to object then I will div here okay, we can uh, I like this I think we have a kind of object then we have to use the question mark here then execute this condition else otherwise you can uh, put the another condition but here this is fine so now just use just div here okay so that's fine and if you want to use like that this is also uh, okay so this is also fine so now just we have to put here the map function uh, one more map function so put here this dot okay so now we don't need to this we have already detailed then we can put here row data dot detail dot map and use two more like sub row data comma k because already we are <coughs> already use i here so I just use k that's fine okay so We have to use this as an array or as and yes, this is an arrow function and the map function will close here. Now fine. Uh, now we have to use one more digs inside that. put that here like okay sub row data dot email and let's check here oops there is some issue I think so okay this is not fine check so we uh, get here this email so now you can see that we have one map function and inside we are used another map function I can I think we can remove this not okay then that's fine okay so we have one more of one map function and inside we are just check the type of if the details are object type then we use another map function with the row data so like just put one more key here uh, so that it will looks much good email just got one more detail here like contact With the outside this, uh, we can call the row data dot name. So it will be like more professional, like name. Let's see the output. So you can see that the email address is this, the contact number is this, and now we got a name here. 
so if you want to see some space here then that's fine yes you can see the space with that and uh, if you need to uh, the both in the different lines then we can use the another div here for line break Contact number and email will be shown in a different row. So you can see that this is an email address, then contact, then name. Okay, uh, just do something more good here. Cut name from here, and you can put it here. So we can see that name first, then name, then email address, then contact number. So, guys, that's fine. Uh, so this is the easiest way to handle the uh, uh, multi-dimensional data and if you still have any issue let me know and thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel for uh, more video on php react js react native jar script and many more thanks guys thanks for watching this video